Wow! Breaking news! $2,000 port stimulus check targeted for Social Security, SSDI, SSI, low income, seniors, and people with disabilities. Your financial well being is the topmost priority, and that's where we are going to ensure that you have the necessary information, your necessary benefits, your necessary insights to make the decisions for yourself and your loved ones. And today in this video, I have got some fantastic news to share with you. What about us? What's really going on? What about the seniors? What about the older adults? And what about the fixed income beneficiaries? Now, it's a definitely a fair concern I hear from you. Yes, you are included in a $2,000 port stimulus check. Yes, you heard it right. This one is specially aimed for fixed income beneficiaries. That's right. We are talking about all of those group of people who are living on social security, retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI beneficiaries. VA, RRB, low income seniors, older adults, and of course, people with disabilities. All right, now this is not just some random news, it's a deal that is going to impact whopping 70 million plus beneficiaries across our great nation. So, without further ado, let's deep dive into all the details. But, however, guys, before we do, a quick shout out to all of you who are joining us for the first time. If you haven't yet already subscribed, make sure to subscribe, it's completely free to do so by subscribing you will be joining onto the journey to stay informed and empowered onto the latest update and crucial information that's hitting the news each and every day that affects your money your benefits your lifestyle so without further ado let's jump right into all the details and let's understand what's really going on now i definitely understand that many of you had a burning question and concerns but trust me guys i've been reading through all of your comments and i'm here to address all the questions head on and get on with it many of you have been asking where we can Currently stand especially those who are on a fixed income fixed income beneficiaries you are worried about whether you'll be included into the new wave of the stimulus check support stay tuned because i have got some answers coming your way but first let me quickly touch upon few recent topics that have been making the news so have you ever heard about the child tax credit payments they are talking about reinstating this payments and there is a recent discussions going on regarding it now i know many of you not here directly apply for it but here is the thing it's always a hot topic nonetheless and it's one of those topic issues that often have some brightful wondering what about us what's really going on what about the seniors what about the older adults and what about the fixed income beneficiaries now it's a definitely a fair concern i hear from you you see guys there are lots of things happening out there into the economy and sometimes it can feel like certain group of beneficiaries are consistently left out and that's why i wanted to take a moment to address a crux of this video that's why we are here to talk about the potential two thousand dollar port stimulus check update would you like two hundred dollar monthly increase in your monthly social security checks or would you like two thousand dollar stimulus check a one-time payment and that's it which one do you think is more beneficial now answers could be different but generally people would most likely prefer two thousand dollar one-time payment because it's initially the highest amount that you be going to receive instantly but here is the thing guys you need to rethink your choices because let me break down all the details for you now here is the thing guys typically a stimulus check is a one-time relief that you get and that's it now here is the thing there are tons and tons of discussions going on for 200 dollar monthly in these social security 2100 act various bills packages reforms so which one is beneficial whether it's two thousand dollar one-time port stimulus check or 200 dollar monthly increase that you'll be going to receive on a monthly basis that means 12 times in a year which one is better well here is the thing while stimulus check are not the same as the increase that you'll be going to receive the 200 dollar increase offers ongoing monthly support like you pay your bills groceries and spend the money on a monthly basis monthly increase offers ongoing support while the stimulus check is a one-time lump sum payment now it's very important to consider the long-term consequences which one gives the most amount of benefits so two thousand dollar basically you receive the two thousand dollar and that's it you'll be not going to receive any payment on a monthly basis or anything of such kind with the two hundred dollar monthly increase it's advantageous because with the raise to your benefits it can provide beneficiaries with the two hundred dollars per month resulting in more money in the people's pocket in the long term so let's say you are going to receive two hundred dollars per month so if you calculate for the 12 months that is for a year you'll be going to receive two thousand four hundred dollar in a single year but if you serve us 
just a one year of the benefits then it becomes significantly important because here is the thing $200 receiving for 24 months that is two years period it comes at $4,800 and here is the thing it's an ongoing monthly support so instead of a one-time lump sum stimulus check a raise to your monthly benefit is much more beneficial into the long run but getting more money isn't always a good thing because you need to also consider the taxes while stimulus check are traditionally not taxable they have been classified as refundable tax credits they are not counted as an income however guys the $200 increases may be subjected to the taxes because those are increases to your monthly checks so depending on your individual's annual income if your income exceeds $25,000 as an individual or $32,000 as a married couple then you may need to pay your taxes on additional benefits so that's the another side of the equation of receiving more money on a monthly basis when deciding between the two options $200 or $2,000 for stimulus check while $2,000 stimulus check may be more beneficial as it is not taxable but other option is also crucial to consider if you receive $200 increase on a monthly basis let's say if you surpass two years of period then that becomes a substantial amount of benefits like I described it becomes more than $4,800 and there is obviously some tax deducted deciding between what kind of a economic relief should government provide to the beneficiaries it's the lawmakers choice it's the policy maker they typically allocate the amount the type of the benefit whether it's monthly ongoing payment one-time stimulus check so moving forward it's worth keeping eye on all the latest updates all the latest news however guys before we get to the point uh before you get too excited let me clarify that as of right now no fourth stimulus check have been approved no specific dollar amount has been approved however there is an economic climate which is showing some signs that there is a strain into the economy that usually sets a stage for additional financial support now i know many of you have been asking whether you'll be included this time when the fourth stimulus check will be announced and i have seen those concerns showing up brewing into the comment sections for years now and believe me guys i get it but here is the thing the fear of being left out can be a very realistic one especially when we have seen these things happening before but here is the thing guys when it comes down to the stimulus check and various benefit programs there is a very important point you need to understand typically uh, there is an income based criteria it's all about whether your income falls below a specific threshold or not and if you check out the previous rounds of stimulus check of $1,200 $600 stimulus check and $1,400 stimulus check last three rounds are showing one very important factor that is the eligibility criteria let me go over through the details individuals with adjusted gross income below $75,000 as individuals and $150,000 for married couples were eligible for the first round of stimulus check $1,200 payment for per person and $2,400 for married couples then right here into the second round of stimulus check individuals receiving $600 and $1,200 for married couples filing jointly eligibility was below $75,000 for individuals and below $150,000 for married couples filing jointly were eligible for the stimulus check then right over here onto the third round of stimulus check for $1,400 per person and $2,800 for married couples filing jointly income threshold below $80,000 for individuals and $160,000 for married couples filing jointly so you see the point if your income threshold as an individual below $70,000 at least and if your income threshold as a married couples is below $150,000 then chances are you could be the low income fixed income beneficiary receiving social security SSI SSDI survivors benefits and specifically the stimulus check could be specifically designed and intended to provide financial relief for those who need it the most those who are struggling financially and may have limited source of income so let's address the elephant into the room now remember that one time with the child tax credit payment yeah it wasn't exactly tailored for the fixed income beneficiaries and that was truly frustrating and we get it like i know it's frustrating no one likes feeling being left out but here is the thing guys i wanted to reassure you that you need the eligibility criteria for those who are receiving the financial aids generally the income based threshold are the one which are implemented so unless there is some unusual clause excluding a specific group of people is included now i know no one likes feeling left out but the reassurance you need is the eligibility criteria for the financial aids well here is the thing those financial aids generally come 
as a income based criteria so unless there is some weird clause excluding a specific group of people which is i doubt highly unlikely you are most likely included and therefore one of the critical aspect to consider is how these programs are structured around income thresholds income thresholds are very much important and you see when lawmakers pass these bills they often attach a specific income limits in order to determine who is eligible and who is not so let's break it down further now talking about the recent stimulus numbers those numbers were based on income thresholds for instance for individuals it was somewhere around $75,000 while for married couples it was about $150,000 threshold similarly for certain other stimulus program these thresholds could vary but the underlying principle remains the same so if your income falls below a set threshold then you are considered eligible for these benefits now before you start worrying let me reassure you that when we talk about these thresholds and the fixed income beneficiaries the majority of them typically fell well below this income limits and yes there might be a small exception for this one small group of people like some receiving social security retirement beneficiaries might still be working and they are earning substantial amount of income as well but for the vast majority of people this isn't a concern to worry about so in the case of the future round of stimulus check it is highly highly likely that you are likely going to be included and i definitely understand that it can be disheartening at some times to feel like you are being left out of the loop all the rounds of stimulus check and we have been seeing it happen before and it's not a pleasant thing but here is the thing guys rest assured the idea of excluding a significant portion of the population from such aid is highly unlikely for especially for the fixed income beneficiaries and the goal is to ensure that those who truly need the benefits the assistance can access those financial aid those benefits regardless of the source of their income now whether it's coming from the job small business or any other revenue source whether it comes from stock market bonds income is income and that is what matters right over here now let's talk a bit about the broader economic landscape that we have been seeing now we have seen our fair share of the market crashes and economic downturns over the past few years and guess what happens each and every time when economy takes a downturn well it's the same old tested strategy of printing out bunch of money and sending it to the people in forms of various stimulus packages and it's a pattern that has been around for decades it's not likely going to change anytime soon in fact here is the thing with each successive crash the amount of the money pumped into the system seems to increase each and every time now to put this simply uh, there is a strong likelihood that we'll be going to continue seeing those financial aids coming especially during those turbulent hard times and i know there are a lot of concern into the government section particularly i hear that whether i will be included or not but here is the thing rest assured if you fall within a certain income threshold then you will be definitely included i'm here to keep you up to date on all the latest developments whether there is any new update regarding the stimulus check on federal level state level whether it's about your monthly benefits proposed bills packages or any changes to the economic landscape that might affect your finances i encourage you to leave your comments down below and questions so i can definitely answer into the next video subscribe make sure to hit that like